Hello guys, hope you are doing well, hopefully this is working, should be, can't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, you won't be able to hear any game sounds because I turned it down temporarily, I'll turn that up the second we get into the game. <laughs> uh, brilliant, Zezon's complaining about people that complain about lag, I like that. Uh, let's see, Zezon, so we're going, forgotten air battle, okay. We'll get into the format in a second. Uh, first, let's just get this set up. Uh, I forgot an air battle, there we go. Okay. Right. Now then, just to remind you of the format, if you haven't seen one of these matches before, uh, in this case, the player one, which is CNCHD, he selects his army and the map. And then Zezon will choose his army. Once you have selected that army, you can't choose it again. And it's a best of 13, so if it goes to 6-6, six, six, you'll have used all 12 armies, if it gets to that point. So you need to be a little bit clever when you use your army. For example, if, you're, if your opponent chooses SOEG, it might sound sensible going for air, because you'll know you'll guarantee a win. But do you really need to use air in that situation? You might want to save it for... A different matchup when your opponent's got a stronger army himself. So there is a little bit of uh, tactics to consider here. So Zezon right now is taking that into consideration. Uh, scoreboard, I have just realised I need to actually fix that. Don't worry about that uh, timer, I'm going to set that and it's just going to fall to zero and then it will just sit on zero for forever. Okay. So we have CNCHD, and this is a best of 13. And his opponent is Zezon. Okay. Now that's all set. We're just waiting on Zezon to choose his army. Good stuff. Yep, Zezon's really <laughs> not sure. Uh, it's good fun, these games. I like the mind games behind it, it's good fun. Okay, both going for demo. All right, that's nice. So we're starting off with a GLA demo mirror. Interesting. Don't forget, guys, I will change the sound in a second, so it's fine. I'll up it as soon as we get into the game. Thank you, Beckers, very much. I hope I pronounced you correctly. Thanks for confirming that everything sounds good. I appreciate that. I think I'll be starving. <laughs> Do a little countdown. I know how much Zezon loves his countdowns. All right, guys, so let's get going. Match number one, we have CNCHD and Zezon. And for a second I thought Zezon wasn't going to map, but that really would be ludicrous. Okay, in the top right we have Zezon as the demo, and in the bottom left we have CNCHD as the demo. Right, first things first, I said I would set the options up. So let's change this, let's get you up, let's get you up a little bit, you down a tiny bit. Okay, All right, hopefully you can hear this, and that's all okay. We have CNCHD opening up, standard, going for his supplies, no boxing, okay might want to consider a box and that is exactly what Zezon's doing here so straight away we know CNCHD might be a little bit more open to the initial harassment from any technicals that we see thrown from Zezon okay 
Supplies go, second supply going up there. A little bit slower on the second supply here. Okay, Zezon's just getting up now. You can see here he's trying to go for one of the boxes by closing off one of the sides, but don't think that's quite going to get it. It's actually quite difficult to get that, I think. This worker here is just ready to collect. He's patiently waiting for his supply stash to get up. Oh, is he going to do something else with it? Okay, two supplies up. Arms dealer here. Free reign here. Loading up some terrorists. Going to go for a terror attack, most likely. Uh, okay, we've got middle control from Zezon. Very nice. He's definitely going to secure that by the looks of it. Meanwhile, both the oils on either side. Nothing there so far. Both going towards this one, however. Let's see who gets there first. Okay, CAC, this box would have worked out, but it looks like you're going to be able to get something there. You could actually get a demo trap just here, and that would stop. That would probably stop any technicals from getting in. That would be nice to see. Don't see any demo traps from either player just yet, I don't think. Oh, as I say that, we've got one there. Very nice, from CNCHD. And we see three terrorists being loaded. And here's your fourth. Mm, interesting choice. He hasn't got the veterans the upgrade. Okay. Will that come back to bite him? We will see. Zezon, in the meanwhile, is going to is tunnel up up this side. Probably going to deny this worker unless CNTHD reacts. He is. He's just about reacted in time. Very nice. Oh, just about. And at the top here, in the meanwhile, nothing so far. Zezon's got the tunnel in the middle. Terratech coming through here now. See if anything's being loaded. No, nope, nothing being loaded. And this is really well defended. I mean, I think at this stage, your best bet with the Terratech is just take off the second supply here. And hopefully... Ah, I know he's going greedy. He wants the jewel, he wants the double, and he knows it's there. Quad's going to be ready to deny. Yes, yeah, in trouble. He should still get the arms dealer. He can't go for both, but he can get the arms dealer. Yeah, and he's going to get it. Yeah, that's nice. And will he get it though? Yeah, he will. Okay, that's nice. That's a reason for opener. In the meanwhile, he's got this here. Tunnel up here on the left side to so secure one of the two sides. Very nice. Zezon not quite got the money to rebuild that arms dealer just yet. Could build a fake in the meantime. I'd like to see that. Uh, get it up a tiny bit quicker while you're waiting for that $2,500 to come in. And we see another technical meanwhile coming in for the harassment. That's really nice. Uh, get in, get in, get in. Yeah. Alright, well done. Oh, he had, actually, okay. He had some um, RPGs in there. Interesting choice. Probably wouldn't have used them there, but at least it denied the scrap by having them there, so that's nice. Meanwhile, we see another tunnel getting a bit more aggressive this time for CNCHD. He's also loaded that up, probably with the RPGs from there. Very nice. This is just a worker, I think. Nothing too threatening. And, okay. So these supplies here, slightly bugged. I think you need to take one worker away because you've got one having to go around a little bit. Otherwise, we're looking good. This technical now probably going to come in and harass these supplies. Okay. Meanwhile, CNCHD is also coming in with another technical here. Uh, this is not loaded. This one... Yeah, it's loaded. What's it got? Oh, uh, it's going to be wasted. That's a shame. He's got some terrorists and... Oh, no. Oh, it was a full RPG tech. That was a bit of a waste, actually. Meanwhile, really nice harassment here. That's good. This technical did a job. Very good. Bit of a shame that he let that one go. That was a lot of RPGs to just throw down the pan. And... Oh, I've missed that. Meanwhile, we have a full terror tech. Very nice. Zezon uh, getting his own back on CNCHD there. That's nice to see. His XP is actually way up now as a result of all those RPGs that he's been harassing as well. Nice harassment though from CNCHD at the bottom. I'd like to see a player go for an oil, but it looks like we're not there quite yet. I think it's on now actually because of this. We didn't see really... Oh, there's another harassment there too. We haven't really seen CNCHD make the most of that early advantage he got, and now he's definitely on the back foot. We see a couple of quads here, but I don't think that's going to be enough. I mean, you've, if you had added all those RPGs that he'd thrown down, actually this army would look a bit more sizable, but without that... Okay, we're getting a bit of harassment here as well, but you can't get anything in here because it's well defended. Nothing else going on otherwise. Got a worker here that the demo trap needs to go work again. And this push now is going to get denied really quickly. And that one quad alone will just clear this up. Yeah, it will. And it's looking really bad for CNCHD all of a sudden. He still hasn't rebuilt his arms dealer. He's floating nearly 4k. Struggling to just... Struggling to just multitask right now. Okay, now he's rebuilt his arms dealer. Possibly a bit too late, but we will wait and see. There is still time for him. He's still got a chance. Unless Zezon starts getting... I mean, this here is nice. I think this is going to help. Hopefully for him, it's going to help distract Zezon long enough to be able to get uh, his own base back. We will wait and see. I'd like to see the player go for... Uh, certainly, I'd like to see CNTD go for this oil. It'd be nice if he could deny this tunnel and then go for that oil as well. 
This is the one thing he could be doing while he's waiting for his arms dealer to get up. No problem, Alex, my man. My pleasure. It's nice to actually get started. It's actually quite fun doing these games. Okay, we see uh, Zezon getting up a tunnel here. Will it be denied? It'd be nice to see this getting denied. I think that's going to be pretty important. I don't think he's spotting it so far, though. Oh, that's a shame. Any radar van free for player? No, nope. going for another Terra Tech, though, for CNCHD. Okay. Right, I see. So, Zezon knows there's a demo truck there now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> He's even spelled it out. I love it. Because what else could a beacon possibly mean when you're against demo, right? I mean, you can't get the stealth upgrade, but, um, you know, just to be absolutely sure. Meanwhile, Tunnel gets up there. Oh, what's this going to do? Okay, he's going to avoid that demo trap. That's nice. But, oh. Oh, is he going to get it? Oh, he just... It's a really good reaction. It's a shame. CNCHD, tiny bit quicker there. He could have got that entire pop. We really would have seen a horrible Fargo pop had he managed that. Just one terrorist had to land an explosion there. Okay, that's a real shame. That would have been nice to have seen. Okay, that's fine. Has another chance, I'm sure. And at this stage, what's he going to do? Is he going to go for an early palace? I mean, he probably needs some units at this point. Both players, fairly, pretty chilled out, pretty relaxed. Somewhat passive game so far. Now we're seeing an oil capture come in from Zezon. That's nice to see. Very likely he'll go for this one afterwards too. Seeing another Terra Tech here. I think that's what we saw getting loaded up. He's going to probably deny this worker here first. Now, I'm not sure I mind. I mean, that's probably not a bad thing denying that, but you've given away your technical. It's probably going to be a Terra Tech now. And this is getting better and better defended as the time goes. You have to react quickly. No, he didn't. Didn't even get a single shot off there. And that quad's now really strong. Getting his palace up. Already got a battle bus on the go. Okay, he's denied the tunnel here. So he's just got this now. Uh, second tunnel going up. Rebel's going in there. It's going to pop out of there. And that will capture that. Very nice. Would have liked to have seen him place the demo, the booby trap. I mean, I, I think when you demo, it's just easy to do. Yep, yeah, no, you're right, Bakus. They're both demo on this one. I will make sure. By the way, I'll have to keep track of this. I've got a nice little way of doing that, which I will show you shortly. Once this first game is up. And second oil now going in. Okay, we see a scorpion transition. Actually, I missed him going for that. And the palace is now going up. But this palace is probably going to come in in time. And it's going to... You only really need the one battle bus to be able to deal with this. And a couple of demo bikes. Yeah, okay. Really dangerous position this is. But okay. CNCHD looks like he's most interested in re-securing an area that he should have secured in the first place. He had all the time in the world to get this, and it's all fine and well being aggressive here, but he had the chance to secure this. I mean, Zezon was nowhere near it. He was just able to pop a single worker out of here and just harass it. Okay, that's nice, though. Will all these quads manage to clear this up, though? He needs to get these RPGs in the garrisons. If he does that, he'll clear this up no problem. But he hasn't done it so far, and yeah, Zezon's going for the men deliberately here. Nice pickoffs. And suddenly, this army is a hell of a lot weaker. Yeah, it's all going down. Because these quads are quite strong. These two in particular are very nice. Don't want to scrap him up. Ah, uh, he's just scrapped him up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't want to scrap up a vet quad uh, when it goes vet 2, vet 3 in particular. Because they actually become, admittedly, not a lot. But they become a tiny bit weaker. A, 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 squ a scrapped up quad just gives you increased firing um, rate. So when you... But because the vetted up quads already get that, you're actually making them a tiny bit weaker. It's a bit of a random quirk of this particular game. Zero hours full of random little quirks, but we like to see that. Okay. Um, oh, 10 viewers. That's nice. That's actually well more than I've ever had before, which is nice. Thank you, guys. Okay, tunnel here now under harassment. Only a uh, little rebel in there, so not going to cause too much damage. And demo bike's going to be out very soon. Okay, we see this army here. Will the demo bike come from the other side? Try and harass. That'd be nice to see. Has he got the demo upgrade yet? No, not yet. Okay, that's probably going to come in any time now. Both on two stars. There's on very close to that all important three star. And we see the very nice Demo Rebel Ambush as an option. Could even just go for the money upgrade. I think I'd probably just go for the money upgrade. When you're this far ahead, I think you can get away with just going for a bit more Demo Rebel Ambush potentially. Could come in handy. Could cause more damage to Cinti HD. I don't see a Demo Upgrade just yet. Be nice to see that coming in soon. Maybe he's going to get the Armor Upgrade first. We do now see a Battle Bus. That's nice. Uh, Zezon has total control more or less here. He's still got that there. He needs to complete. 
Meanwhile, since HD, just sort of chilling in the base. I think he's just probably waiting for his inevitable doom. I mean, these areas over here could just get denied by a few demo bikes, and it looks like that's what Zezon's prepping. Meanwhile, since HD is still trying his best to just clear this. He can't even clear this area out at the minute. It's such a shame because he really had a big chance to clear. We didn't even need to clear this out. He'd have never needed to have cleared this area out had he secured it in the first place. But unfortunately now, yeah, and that's, yeah, the order is slightly wrong there. And now that's going to just chew everything up. Yeah, this is the problem in it. Now, whose Jarman is that? I think that's Zezon's. Uh, now he's getting the oil refinery in the middle, not the refinery, the, is it ref the oil refinery actually? Yeah, it is the oil refinery. These are oil derricks, yeah, of course. Oh, okay, takes one. Nice demo bikes otherwise. And actually, he lost quite a lot, but he could have probably lost a bit more. And Vet2 Jarman, meanwhile. One thing I do like seeing a Jarman kill, okay, it is, alright, it is actually seen CHD's Jarman, of course, because otherwise that would detect it. One thing I like to see when you've got a demo mirror or just when you are demo is using your Jarman actually to clear big um, buggy hordes. So that's actually really nice. So you can have five or six buggies here. You use your Jarman correctly. You can take five or six of them out, no problem. You can just suicide them. And it's a really worthwhile trade because Jarman only costs 1500. And when you demo, that's nice. And when you demo, he's going to yeah, he's gonna be back. It's going to take a tunnel in one go here. That's really nice. Nice to see that micro. Very good. This German looks like he's just chilling, waiting for the battle bus. Obviously, he has got the demo upgrade now. He's going to clear that one up. Now he's just down to the one tunnel. Didn't actually need to evac that, but he has done nonetheless. That is really nice to see. Yeah, brilliant. He didn't know. Since he actually didn't really, he couldn't really make his mind up there. Couldn't quite get his German to clear that in time either. Now we have a bit of a problem because there's no map presence here. What will he do? Will he actually try and snipe this to save it? I don't think it's worth it. I think at this stage. And whatever you do, don't. Okay, he did it right. Had he done that too soon, his own Jarman would have gone down, and that wouldn't have been very nice. He now knows there's a Jarman there, though. A vet free Jarman, ladies and gentlemen. Don't see that very often. Now he just needs to get it on a bike, as they say. Okay, getting a battle bus by himself and a market. Oh, I see. We see a Scud Storm already from Mr. Zezon. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, we're looking at the map now, and as soon as he clears this out. Yeah. I mean, he's just got a demo trap and a garrison now. He's still got his Jarman here, but I think if he's got radar van scan, and he has, he's just waiting to scan that out. I'll tell you what, though. That is CNCHD's demo trap, so that would be a really nasty way to go, as they say. Okay. Yeah, Zezon's looking really dominant here. CNCHD should... I mean, look, he's floating 7k. He could throw down another Scud so easily. And I probably would. Has got two battle buses, and he's going to get the Jarman in there, so that's nice. May try to bait out the Jarman from Zezon, but I'm pretty sure he's going to have enough to deal with this. One battle bus and the demo bike alone without microing yet. Straight down. Right, and you see that? That demo bike, that battle bus is gone. Disappeared. Because if you get a perfect hit on these battle buses, the initial hit takes out the battle bus, and then the demo upgrade takes the hole out. So it's just an instant destroy. <laughs> it's really painful. I think I discovered that a while ago, uh, weirdly playing a couple of C CXM matches. Yeah, GG. Crows in the tower. Knows that he's beat here. And that is GG. Well played by Zezon. 1 0. Alright, let's host the second game and I'll change the scoreboard in a second. Right, what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to update the score in here. So it's 1 0 Zezon. What I'm actually going to do is, very quickly, I will show you my display, and I will show you this, and my nice little scoreboard I've got. So in the first game, both players were demo, and the score is 1-0, and I need to make that a little bigger. In fact, I'll do that all round. There we go. Okay. Very nice, right. Demo, demo, 1-0. Now they both can't choose demo. And actually, if you look down here, now look, demo's disappeared. Oh no, smarty pants. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now let's just change quickly to in-game mode. Okay. Very good. Oh yeah, that would help. Let's go observer. Okay.
just tells the NCHD that I've opened for him. Thank you, Millard. Appreciate the stream promotion. Much appreciated. And your nice words. Much appreciate that, man. Coming from the expert himself. <laughs> okay. So Zezon's now. Okie dokie. Uh, I'd ask the chat, but because there is a stream lag, I think I'm going to have to do it myself, unfortunately. Right, so. Zizon has asked me to choose the map. So I need to get the map up. The map's up. I know what I want to see. I want to see liquid golds. What army will Zezon go for off the back of this? <laughs> yeah, I thought I didn't think they'd like that. <laughs> I think there's definitely a thing about this map. I, I think um, there's. <laughs> you're not the only one. I think it's a semi thing. I don't know. I'm sure there's semis out there that like this map, but I reckon the extra additional bit of macro you need to do. All right, normal, normal China, interesting. Yeah, the extra bit of macro you need to do on this map makes it really hard work for any semi. Okay, we're gonna see another mirror. This would be nice. I like to see this. The vanilla China mirror. Everyone likes the vanilla China mirror. I think they do. I certainly like it. And I know since CHD, this is basically his favourite matchup. Alright, good luck, have fun both. This is nice. This will be a nice matchup, I reckon, especially on this map. Could go on quite a while, actually. I hope it does. But, you know, only so long. <laughs> Don't want it going off literally forever here. Ha ha ha. Yeah, this is what we want to see. Uh, backers, yeah, you're quite right. What I need to actually do there is flip CNCHD and Zezon, so I'm just being consistent. Thank you very much for spotting that, my friend. <laughs> just waiting for Zezon to commence. Yeah, thanks for that, backers. Good spot. Um, it's because on the scoreboard I've got CNCHD versus Zezon, so I just wanted to be consistent with that, so I needed to flip the names around. In fact, we know that Zezon's going green, so actually, and you'll see this on the next one. Uh, and we know that CNCHD is orange. And then we can just change that one second okay beautiful right that'll look better when you actually see that next <laughs> okay just waiting on mr zezon to get going and then we will see match number two always oh, thinking <laughs> Zezon's just strategizing here and it, it and I think it's important to do that because you've got a couple of approaches here do you open up with the barracks do you just open up with dual war factory because if you open up with dual war factory all right let's roll yeah let's see so okay one second let's just get into this shall we so right since CHD is here at the bottom in the orange as the vanilla china and Zezon is at the top on this map here, also as the Vanilla China. Okay. So yeah, what are you going to do in this map? I mean, you, do you just try and go dual war factory and just try and take out your opponent early doors? Because if you do that and your opponent goes for an oil, early oil grab, you can just lose your base early on. Okay, we're seeing a forward... We're going to see a forward uh, supplies and war factory from Zezon. So he's going to go for the more aggressive approach here. And CNCHD is going to do the absolute opposite. We see Zezon's actually keeping his command, which actually I don't mind seeing on this map, because I think there, if you get an eco-boom early on, 
you're going to want a third dozer probably. Or, I mean, there's a reasonable chance of it. So actually, we see him keeping that for now. Be nice to see him get raided up, but he hasn't done yet. Meanwhile, we see yeah, the racks, but obviously a slower second supply. And we're seeing... Okay, he is actually now selling that. All right. Meanwhile, he's going for... Right, he's going for the triple... I'd have liked to have seen a triple dozer, I think. Because he could have got this third supply. If you're just going for a far forward war factory, you could have got this up much faster. But that's okay. He's still going to, going to be in a much more aggressive position. Which unit will we see first? They're sort of in broadly similar positions, except we see a faster oil grab coming through. And now we're going to see the racks go up. Okay. This is probably going to be a dragon tank, I would have thought, to open up with. It is... And will this be a... Uh, that's painful. That will definitely get denied. And we see a gat opener. But the gat should see the dragon tank. I mean, this man will see the dragon tank in time. Shoot the barrel, shoot the barrel, shoot the barrel. Oh, he might do it himself. No, he hasn't. That's a shame. I would have liked him to shoot the barrel there. He could have taken that dragon tank to half health. The gat then could have just microed that. We see an outpost follow up. Okay. See and a bunker go up there. Meanwhile, we see oil capture. This should come in any minute now. Especially if this comes in. And actually, he's in a reason. He's got a reasonable chance here to deny early on. Now we see a vanilla battle blaster. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Let's just see some outposts. That's what we want to see. All we need is some sap, some outposts, and dragon tanks. Maybe the odd gap. That's all we need to do. Oil coming in here. Oil coming in here. Oil coming in here. And there's no way they're going to get denied. So I think all those heads on start is all right here. He's got three supplies. And that definitely counters the only two here, but we see a much faster oil grab coming through just in CHC. I'd like to see this game repaired. When you've got a dozer idle on this map, that's the first thing you should do. You should just automatically repair that. Okay, we see Denies here, that's nice. We'd like to see him remove his tank on us from there and just fire at that, but that's okay. He lost the Battlemaster in the meantime, which is why Zezon's actually got some reasonable XP. See in CHD, I don't know what he got that XP for. Who knows what that was for? Oh, I know what it was for. It's for capturing oils. You actually do get a ton of bit of XP for that, you know. And that's going down. I know. Just about saves it. That's nice. We are seeing the combination I'd like to see. But he's going for a licks in the background. But Zezon looks like he might expect it. However, oh, look at that. That's really nice. If you go all the way around here, you could still cause massive damage and harassment. Then you could take the power out and you could just take out all of that. That'd be nice to see. A bit of a Mexican standoff in the middle otherwise. Okay. <laughs> just see Mr. X comment yeah <laughs> well look you coped with my speed in those 2v2s in the master, last Master and Apprentice so I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine and I'm pretty sure Zezan's faster than me I hope he's faster than me can't be much slower than me I'll tell you what though he's actually probably not going to deny that and that is definitely an oversight that is what you don't want to see in the 2v2s my friend <laughs> and I hear the licks oh, I hear a dual licks actually okay but there are a couple of gats. I think Zezon has awareness of it. And he's got triple supply up. So, mind you, we do see one, two, three, four, five oils right now. He's going to get this one, retake that one. He's going to capture that. But right now, in this moment in time, five oils. That is a lot. Meanwhile, this gets denied. I just think the minute Zezon's unit mix has just been a little bit superior to the CHDs. And that's why he's come on top. And that's why his XP is exponentially higher. He's just going for a mass. I mean, you've got to surely expect this. If you're Zezon, yeah, you've got to know that there's a Lix transition coming here. Because why has he got so few units? You've got to be so suspicious. You really have. He's only just getting up his second War Factory now, okay? He's got his prop up already. Well, we see some new cannons. Because he's certainly losing on the ground right now. And a new cannon would help him secure that. We do see four Lixes. This one's got nothing. But he's got a Gat Lix. He's got... Oh, that's the prop Lix. And we see two bunker lexes, so he's got the full whack. And I think Zezon knows, you know. I think he just knows. Mind you, he could lose some early gats here. And I tell you what, the more gats he loses, okay, we see an overlord. All right. Yeah, you just need to take the gats out. If you can take the gats out, you make your life so much easier. But I think he's just concentrating on the lex army right now. Fair enough. Don't blame him. Okay. Fine, we see the dragon tank, nothing going on there for now, but this here is causing all sorts of problems. Having this supply harassed. He's actually losing his oils now. Slowly yet surely. Did he just now offline? Didn't realise it was online. How did he? Uh we see no oil capture at the back here. Now if I'm seeing CHD, I think I'd just destroy them. I really would. Just destroy them now. But he's not, it's gonna go in. 
This overlord's going to get denied. That is really painful. And that is going to be hard to deal with now. Need the gap. Need to save that. And just going in a little wrong. I think he's concentrating a little bit too much on his Lix army. And Zezon will be panicking right now. He has got some gaps. And he's got the chain guard upgrade. That's nice. So he's got the capacity to deal with it. But he's going the wrong way. And I don't even think he's aware of it right now. He could get hunted actually. I'll tell you what. If he comes in right now he could hunt him. And if you hunt him. You just need to hold on. Yeah power goes down. But he's got another power somewhere up here. And now he's, look, he's missed the chance now. Oh, there's a, even a Lotus on the left, I think I just heard. I'm not sure who I heard it from, though. Yeah, I did hear it from CCHD. That's nice. Needs to run away now. Yeah, he's going to lose his Gatlix. Not a bad one to lose. But I think three Gats, you've got to engage that. Look, they're coming for you. Just go, engage. You've got no choice. Engage, engage, engage. That's the prop Lix. No, yeah, it's the prop Lix. You can't. You've got to engage that. You've got to engage. These chain gun Gats, that will throw down in seconds. But if you at least engaged, you might have taken them down and saved something. We'll see a money hack in the meantime. He did at least save one bunker lick, so perhaps it wasn't a truly terrible decision, but I don't know. Lotus, meanwhile, causing a bit of chaos. It's nice to see. And meanwhile, all of this is happening. He's just slowly managed to push him back here. Oh, this gat's a bit wasted, though. We see the refinery capture. I'd like to see someone actually go for these supplies. I think these supplies are really get often neglected on this map. And Zetson's just reacted to that, so it's going to go deny that now. Nice number of tank hunters here from uh, CNCHD. That's good. Trying to re just reclaim these oils. He has more oil control in the middle. Still hasn't got his oils. I really think it's a big mistake from CNCHD. Hasn't gone for these oils. We're seeing a command rebuild now. Uh, very sensible. Oh, he has actually got... Right. Did he actually go for a triple dozer build? And I just completely missed it. Because that is really newbie. I, th I, th I think he did, you know. I think I missed him get that. Uh, this Lotus is going to survive. Okay. Nice little trick I like to do with Lotus. As soon as she's captured something, go one direction. The second she goes stealth, move the other direction. It's just such a basic little trick. And this is a looking potentially wasteful here. These flamers aren't going to achieve anything. Oh, are they though? I'll tell you what. Yeah, it distracted the ECM and now I can clear all this up. That's nice to see. Hit the gap, hit the gap. Got to hit the gaps here. Oh, there's so many though. You've got to engage. You have no choice. Yeah, that's painful. And all his tank, most his tank planners now. He's still losing the ground army war. Because the unit mix has just been a little bit superior. Both players on three star now. So we're likely going to see a carpet come in. Yeah, we've both got their commands back up now. So we're going to see carpet and artillery. Maybe mines come in soon. Because I don't think there's really any promotion you'd necessarily get at one star. I'm sure you wouldn't get red guard training. I don't think they did. I hope they didn't. Good. Okay. And we see a new cannon. All right, nice. I think CNCHD need that. I mean, look at this right now. He's actually really got nothing. He has a bunker licks. And he has a nuke cannon. And if I'm Zezon now, I'm thinking, oh, he's actually taking his oil. I like to see that. And Lotus is going to be able to take this one too. So he's going to get a bit of a supply boost here. And that will stop him. That needs to recruit. That actually will need microing. That's really annoying for Zezon to deal with. Okay, he knows that Lotus is probably going to go for this. Nuke going up now, okay. That'll put a bit of pressure. And it's a good response to when you're building nuke cannons. It's a very defensive stance. He has actually got a triple war factory. So that's nice. But I think I'm surprised we haven't seen any MIGs from you before. I mean, admittedly, I'd like to see the MIGs, if any one, come from Zezon. But we haven't seen any just yet. Right, so Lotus is now going to scout the nuke cannon. And actually going to take the command, which I like to see. Uh, what I'd really love to see is um, if he used his artillery on that and he used his carpet on that and dozer hunted him. Oh, he's taken it. <gasps> oh, he's taken the command. He didn't sell it in time. That's just a 3,000. I mean, it's really on this map. It's not a big, it's not a big deal, but still, it's wasteful. The nuke's going to go up now. He, an outpost. Yeah, look. Outpost has got to come out. He is probably going to see this in time. Yeah, this has all been flamed out meanwhile. Still there for scouting purposes, though. That's nice to see. Okay. Meanwhile, we see a fart on the ground. This new cannon is going to be here in the background. Back him off. You could take both these out now. Just engage it. Ah, oh, that's a waste. He really could have taken both those overlords out there. Meanwhile, we see the artillery coming in from CCHD. And very much likely a carpet bomb in the background. We do see the carpet bomb. 
What's the carpet bomb going to do? It's going to try and clear out the army. It's going to just try and clear out everything. Okay. Take some supply trucks out. That's going to be annoying because you don't really want to bother. I mean, look. For the sake of $150, it wouldn't make sense to actually build another supply truck there. Really needs a dragon tank. Needs a dragon tank ASAP. That will help, but where's your dragon tank? It's just an overlord spam. And the thing is, that won't last too long because as soon as you're going to get the nuke tank upgrade and... Having much more mobile, uh, yeah, having more mobile overlords is definitely going to help Zezon. Mind you, he's being massively outspammed right now, and he has cleared that without a dragon tank. And suddenly, Zezon's struggling to deal with this. Needs a couple more ECMs, maybe. But here comes the ECM now. Just hit this. Ah, oh, the couple bombs going to come in. Oh, it's a huge hit. <laughs> and it takes the new cannon, and it takes three over. Oh, two overlords. In fact, this is going to get finished off now, is it? Yeah, it is, because the, garris the garrison blocked him. Now he's going to have to pull this back. Ah, uh, that's really painful. And he's lost everything just like that. His XP should have gone through the roof there, and it has. Both players four-star now. Okay. That was really a massive hit. Massive, massive hit. Okay. And just start... Uh, now nah, that's painful, because look at this off the back of that. He's actually rebuilding his third war factory but I'm not entirely sure he's got the supply to support he's still got well, he's only got two oils now Zezon's been sat now on what is five oils for a really long time he's rebuilt his CC so he didn't get the didn't use the opportunity to doze on him I mean you could have just sent up it might have been tricky but you could have gone around there and you could have denied one dozer here you could have even just suicided the licks to be honest I'd have just gone for the dozer hunt at this stage what you got to lose I mean Right now, because of that horrible engagement, he's losing out on the ground. This is nice. Good use of ECMs. He's upped his ECM count, which is something I wanted to see. And if he uses his ECMs right, he can actually clear this out. Okay. So still got a chance. And right now, there's no gem promo available to Cezanne. And there might be mines, however. He could have invested in that, but let's see. And meanwhile, he's actually using these two trucks to collect from here. That's nice. That needs denying immediately. And look at Zezon's floating 11k, 10k. That's huge. But has he yet got any upgrades for uh, the tanks? He hasn't. So is he building any upgrades? Okay, now see a nuke. Like to see a you know, temporary overcharge here from CNCHD, but he isn't quite. He still hasn't repaired that oil, man. Come on, repair it. Repair it. Repair your oils. Uh, that did some damage. Looks like it missed most of the army. Did take an overlord out though. That's nice to see. Now just micro these correctly. Just get a dragon tank. Please get a dragon tank. I mean, I guess you could just... You've got enough ECMs to just brute, and force, just brute force your way through here. Fine. But I don't know. I think... Just get a couple of dragons. So much easier, isn't it? Hello, guys who I haven't interacted with the chat. Rafe, hello. Boss, GSCS, yes, hello. And Mass Procular, hello, man. And her Sierra 32. Probably pronounced your name terribly there, but there we go. Okay. Uh, the ECMs, all of them locking on. It's actually really nice micro, this. Ah, uh, but here comes the carpet bomb. That, it, I can't. I can't watch it. I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's so painful. Oh, uh, God. Honestly, these carpet bombs have been so much more painful from um, from Zezon. Really nasty. And look at this now. This has got a real stranglehold across the map here. And that dragon tank has come in as well. Oh, my God. Has it taken out the command? Oh my god, it has. It's taken out the command. So right now he can't even use his general abilities. He actually can't even afford his... Well, actually, oil. He's just on one oil, guys. He is on one oil and three war factories. Sell that. Sell one of your two supplies. Uh, yeah, and it's just at this point now. There's really no... I don't think... I mean, Rafe's just sort of made a comment here. Zezon, let's see and see if you come back. Uh, yeah, briefly, probably because you're watching it one and a half, two minutes ago. But right now... Yeah, no. No, it's game over. He's got a complete stranglehold. He has one oil for income. He actually finally repaired that oil. And Zezon's finally... Re yeah, GG. And I think that's a sensible call. GG, well played by Zezon in the end. And there was a shame. I think mean, CNCHD was looking good at the moment there, but those carpet bombs just absolutely killed any chance he had. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, that was really painful to watch. All right, let's get these scoreboards updated. One second, I'll actually make sure I go observer on this occasion. 
Right. So, we're going to just quickly up in OBS. We're going to up Zezan to 2-0. And then I'm going to quickly show you my display and my shiny little scoreboard. So this time we saw normal China mirror. And the score is now 2-0. I need to center all that because I'm really anal when it comes to that. There we go. That's looking much better. Stemma, Demma, China, China. What will we see for the third game? Let's get you back into the game. Okay. By the way, guys, if you're wondering why I'm using display capture, um, there's an issue with me using display capture and the resolutions don't quite work out. Um, not with the game, but just with... Uh, it's because I'm using a laptop and it doesn't like using the monitor alongside it. Sand Scorpion, okay. Nice choice. I like to see Sand Scorpion. As tank, though. Interesting choice. Okay. Sand Scorpion. And we see CNC HD is going for the tank general. All right. Tank on Sound Scorpion. What will Zezon go for? I would be tempted to get your SWG out here, I think. I mean, or just any GLA. That could work. Hmm. Yeah, Toxin. I think Toxin would be a good choice here, you know. I really do. But do you need to use it right now? Maybe not. I probably would though. I'd go Tox. Like I say, Tox or an SWG. I'd like to see SWG because it's just so easy to bunker off in this map. And if you do get, if you do manage that, and you know CNCHD is a reasonably passive player. Uh, it depends. He can go very aggressive uh, turn. Um, I'd like to see it more often from him because I think when he does go and play more aggressive, he definitely gets more successful results. But let's see what he chooses to do here let's get the chat back up yeah so I think Mass Pro Killer yeah I, he's, this thing, I've seen CHD um, HD be aggressive and I think he should do it more often um, I think maybe it does conflict with his with all the 1v1s he does sometimes there probably is a bit because you're naturally going to be more passive in those um, sorry the uh, single player modes I think you almost need to be a little bit more passive in those games but that's alright. See, 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 I think he's sort of he took a, quite an extended break from playing these sort of style one v one. So maybe he's just sort of getting back into it, which is nice. Okay, just waiting on Zezon to choose. He's going for laser. All right, interesting choice. I think you can get away with most USA's here. Uh, I said okay, but it didn't go through. Good luck. Have fun. Just wait for Zezon to go, and then we will get rolling. Okay. Come on, Zezon. The accept button's right there. Three, two, one. I should sound like the um, the Scottish referee on Gladiators. If you know, you know. <laughs> okay. Right in the bottom right here, we see Zezon uh, in the green still as the USA Laser General, and at the top left, we see CNCHD as the China Tank. Yes, Jundi, we will play fair and have fun. I'm sure of it. All right, what will we see here from Zezon? I'm going to guess... Is he going to go... Yeah, he's going to go for the barracks. Okay. Meanwhile, we see CNCHD going for what looks like dual supply, unless he gets a racks here, maybe? Yeah, okay, no, racks, fine. I don't mind that. So both players looking for the oil capture, I imagine. That's nice to see. Nice and close to the supplies. Very good. Okay. All right, so I see some other people joining. Hello, hello, Firearm, and hello, Jundi, my man. Okay, we see a cell of the command center, very nice. Uh, is this a Noviko? Interesting choice. Also, is he now realized that, yeah, he could cover that off too. You kind of want it there, I reckon. Just there. Maybe that's actually a good decision. You can still probably just about squeeze a gap in there, though. It's actually single eco, but he's okay. There's going to be a capture behind this. CSHD is going to do exactly the same thing. We see one going there, one going there, one man going there, and one man going there. And I'll tell you what, we're seeing the two supplies up already. Supply placement a tiny bit off being perfect on this one and off perfect there. Okay, that's going to slow him down a little bit, but only a single eco otherwise. 
Here comes a V. I'm pretty sure it's full. See the capture upgrader coming in already. It's going to send this ranger here. Probably going to beat this man to it. Ah. Okay. Will he get that? Yeah, he will. Very nice. Good to see. This gap will go down. Actually, will it? Uh, yeah, it will just. Yeah. Unlucky. He did nearly reacted in time there. We're seeing the oil captures coming in now. Not here. We're seeing it here. We're seeing it here. And we're seeing it here. And we're seeing it here as well. And I tell you what, this gat's gonna could deny this range. Should deny this ranger. He could get four oils here, seeing CHD. Oh, he's not gonna deny it in time. But I think he might get it anyway, you know. Will he? This is quite big, because if he gets that fourth oil. Oh no! Why'd you do it? Just gamble on it. He could have got the fourth oil. Oh, that was a big error. He wouldn't have done that. Yeah, oh, he's got this gap through. Okay. That's bad news. Potentially very bad news here for Zezon. He's got his one oil up in the meantime, but that is a big eco boom. And that has allowed him to go fast prop in second war factory. We like to see that. And that I do like to see in particular because that's going to get you the ECMs on top. And that's going to be really difficult to deal with. And that gat is going to cause a whole world of problems. Focus it down. Oh, he's reacted in time, has he? No, he hasn't. But Zezon, no, since HD hasn't. If he had stopped, he might have even taken one there. But that's really annoying. Zezon right now, living off. He's just going to live off one oil here. Because he's actually lost that. Now, if CCHD can react in time, he can get that oil again. I mean, he's already sitting very cushy on four oils. This Gats, don't waste them. Uh, did he take his original V back? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, he's going to use this as a distraction. Yeah, he's in trouble here, Zezon. CCHD's really looking good here. Looking really good value. And now he's going to get that. That's four oils. Four Gats coming through. No chain gun yet. Dragon tank going down here. That's going to clear that. Very nice. Red guard's even going to come here. Now that I do like to see. Red guard's even going to go and take that. Alright, that's good. Oh, it's going to be so difficult. This is <laughs> this is bullshit, says Zezon. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think it's looking pretty difficult. <laughs> oh, it's so difficult to deal with. He is going to finally deny that. But he actually lost. He actually lost one of his nooks as well. That is so painful. He's at such a disadvantage. And I tell you what. All CNC HD needs to do here is just come rally through here and it's GG. It really is. He's even sending that there. Just to be annoying. Yeah, he's actually going to deny that easily enough. That really would have taken the mickey, wouldn't have it? Yep, yeah, alright, good reaction, but he's dealt with it. Now see a dozer. I'd like to see a dozer come down here. Getting his command rebuilt. I mean, you're so rich, you can. This dozer is now going to go down here and he's going to build that. Very nice. But look, he's just going to flood down here. I mean, this here is just sitting here just to make sure he can't counter and I like that. I'd probably want to make sure he can't counter somehow through there either. In fact, you're so rich, your tank general, you could even get some MIGs up. Some Black Napalm MIGs would be nice to see. Because Zezon's position's really poor. He's struggling. I'll just take the flame up, burn that down. That'd be good to see. Just use these as a distraction in the meantime. They're mere cannon fodder. I'd like to see some chain guns as well. You're rich enough. Why not? Focus it down. That's really taking liberties, that is. Yeah, it's GG. He knows it. GG. Well done. Well done, CNCHD. He's on the scoreboard. Good to see. Alright. 2-1. Well played to CNCHD. Very nice. Let's give him his first score. Uh, let's very quickly show you my display. We'll go to the scoreboard. We saw CNCHD as the tank and we saw Zezon as the laser. And the score is now 2-1. Okay. Save you in case I do something wrong. Back to the game. Okay. And let's recreate. Just double check that they haven't already made a game. Don't think they would have done. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's give CNCHD some encouragement. I think he needed that. That'll be good. That'll do his confidence some good. Definitely. He'll, that'll definitely help him out. That's good. Okay. Alright, 2-1. Alright, let's see. See what Zezon wants to choose first on this occasion. See what he does. Will he ask me to choose the map again? We will 
white and see. It's a very good point. I've just seen that from Mass Pro Killer. Yeah, some laser tanks. I think actually would have helped in that situation. One laser tank just deals with that annoying gat in the back. So maybe just getting the one laser tank would have been a good idea. Yeah, I think that would have been a good idea. But, you know. You're right, because like you say, Jundi, it's, um, uh, it's painful having to deal with that. I mean, the V alone, when he dealt with that gat, it went to low health. And yeah, it's just setting back so far. No chance. Okay, just waiting for Zezon to make his choice and CNCHD to get back from his coffee break. Looking fairly active in the chat. Actually, it's nice to see a nice active chat. Very good. Okay. In fact... This is a good opportunity to add a moderator. So, Jundi, off you go, mate. Have fun. <laughs> what about Rafe? Has Rafe won already? Should I make Rafe one? Nah. When you're 18, Rafe, when you're 18, <laughs> when you're 18, you can be a mod on my channel. That is a promise. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Okay, SWG. Right, what map should we choose this time? I'll choose this one, and then what I'll do is I'll ask you guys, on the next occasion, which Zezon, there will be a next occasion when Zezon chooses, can someone choose a map, please? Um, in the meantime, I need to choose one, so let's have a little look. SWG. Uh, okay, I know what I'm going to do. In fact, no, I'm not going to do that, because I know that um, CNCHD will want that in the locker at some point. Uh, I won't choose that edge carriers over. I'm going to choose Summer Arena. I think that would be really nice to see. Summer Arena. There we go. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I think this would be nice, actually. An SWG mirror. I mean, will we see some early aggression? But if we don't, I know if we have that sort of more passive game, we could end up having an alpha war. I mean, that would be really fun to watch. You don't see that every day. <laughs> All right, Firearm. I know, I know, I know. Very cheeky of you, but you're absolutely spot on. One day, I promise, I will do that Excel file for Mr. Nickname. Because I've got the ideas, I just need to find the time to do it. And the motivation. If I'm honest with you, the motivation's a hard bit to get. Uh, especially if I know it's going to take more than five minutes, then I'm like, ugh, this is effort. Right, we're just waiting for Zezon here to go, and then we will crack on. I'll tell you what, I really want to play the Scottish referee. That would be really fun. Do you reckon we should do that, guys? Oh, yeah, uh... Scottish referee gladiators. <laughs> uh, it's funny. All I need is a video now. But I'm probably not going to find one. Ah, sod it. We'll do it another day. I'll prep that for another day. <laughs> uh, I really hope some people know what I'm talking about. Jundi, or anyone English, do you know what I'm talking about? Three, two, one, but in a Scottish accent. I can't do it. No one else can do it as well as him. Actually, Millie, you should know. All right. At the top, we see Zezon as the SWG, and at the bottom, we see CNCHD also as the SWG. This is our third mirror out of four games. That's nice. And actually, every mirror has gone to Zezon so far, so will he take a third? We shall see. Yeah, guys, seriously, I, I want I want to know if you guys know what I'm on about. I'm sure you do. I'd be really disappointed. I mean, Jundi especially you should know, aren't you, like, older? <laughs> I think you're, like, similar to my age. Maybe a couple of years older, even. Okay, dual supply opener and not dual supply opener. Interesting. Selling the CC and not selling the CC so far. This is going to be a fast oil capture. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's quirky. Triple dozer. Oh, we're seeing the bunker. All right. And that 
I like to see because I don't think he's going to be able to deny that. I really don't. He's, yeah, that's nasty. That is nasty. He's got um, four Chinooks and that's going all the way. It's actually going to go over to here. Actually, probably a good decision because if you land it there, you can just deny it for ages. It's probably a really good, sensible decision. This is interesting. And what's he going to do? He's actually gone two. What the hell? There's one. Is this a distraction? Oh my god, it is. Oh, he said both his dozers. Guys, this is... What is this? What is this? I love it. Dual racks in the back of his face. You don't see this every day. That is amazing. Will he get that? He's going to get it up, you know. And this is horrible because you need, you've got low power. You can't produce in time. He's even getting a fire base. That is brilliant. Can't deny that in time. Don't bother. Ranger, yeah. See some rangers coming out now. And in the background, he's just collecting. Very crusty. He saves this nook. Somehow saves that Chinook. All right, that's nice. The ranger's coming in now. The power still down. So Zez on right now. He can't even keep up. I'll tell you what. CNC HD is looking good here. And this is the aggression I was talking about, guys. When he wants, when he does, he is. He's going to be aggressive, and that's nice to see. All right, he's got the power back. That's going to help him out. But he's going to deny a supply in the meantime. Is he going for the... He's had to cancel his capture upgrade. Yep, no surprise there. We're seeing Rangers. Which one's going to get the flashbangs out first? Or is CNT HD just going to rely on mass spam here? Because he's got that firebase, and that firebase should just go and take the supply out. Because if he does that... Wait, he's dead. He's screwed. Laser lock. Laser lock. Yeah, well done. Take that out now. And I'll tell you what, I don't think Zezon can deal with this. Yeah, he can't. I think this is GG. Yeah, GG. Well played. Well played, CNCHD. That was brilliant. I don't. You don't see a dual racks drop very often, and that was very professionally done. Well done, sir. Very good. Okay. Let's just upload this quickly. Oh, Ruick, my man. Yeah, you know. And if you can do it really well, that is music to my ears. <laughs> I'll actually get something up for it, just for those that don't know. Uh, oh my god, there's so much chat to read through. Alright, let me read through the chat in a minute. Meanwhile, we need to give CNCHD another score. Uh, I won't show you this on this occasion. I'll show you it on the next one. So we just saw an SWG mirror, and we know that the score is now 2-2. Two -two. Alright. Okay, back to the game. Both in. Yeah, let's give this guy a stream link. Why not? Uh, take a copy of it. Apologies in CHD. Alright. Game so far, we see Air Force, right. Okay. What map will he choose? Yeah, there it is. There's ZDX carrier is over. Right, let's go get ZH carriers over. One second. ZH carrier is over. There we go. Will we see another mirror? That would be quite fun, an air mirror. And he's used it. Has he used a tank? No, he hasn't used a tank yet. It could go tank. I think that would be a nice counter. Mind you, on this map, it's actually really easy to defend, I think. So, maybe not. <laughs> okay, natural threats I see from Millie. Uh, what else have I got? Message to me and stuff. Discord, did you? Wait, or did you message? Ah, sod it. I'm not going to check that. I think you're talking to Jundi there. Johnny's talking about maps. I know that Rurik earlier on showed some good knowledge. So, gold star for you, my friend. Wherever it was. I know it was there somewhere. There it is. Yeah. Right, let's get this game going. Yep, he's chosen tank. As expected. Okay. Let's roll, lads. So at the bottom, we have Mr. Zezon as the China Tank General. And at the top, we have CNCHD as the Air Force. Now then, I think on this map, it is quite easy to defend tank. And 
I've been air a number. I'm sure I've had air tank a couple of times on this map, and I'm pretty sure I actually always do quite well as the air, because it is a good. It is pretty easy to bunker off, especially when you get a garrison there, get a garrison here, maybe, maybe even one there, but definitely one there too, and then you make it really hard work, and you sort of force the tank general. What there is a downside to that strategy, of course. There's plenty of supplies in the middle to expand to for the tank general. So if you see that bunker, you just got to go for it. But let's see what he does. Fast dual supply and dual supply here too. Okay, as you'd expect. Uh, look through the chat quickly whilst this is going on. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry if I'm missing some chat, guys. My multitasking is bad enough as it is, which is proven by how terrible I am at this game. <laughs> okay, he's actually not built a second Shinnecon either. Is that a mistake? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, or is it? Hang on. That is very unusual. He's going for a fast strat, but with dual supply. Is that unusual? I think that is pretty unusual. Yeah, I think that is. I like it, because he's obviously not gone for the spy drone. Or at least... Oh my god, he's gone for the spy drone. <laughs> I think, I think we're going to see CNCHD realise something in a second. Or is he just going for a fast search and destroy V? But I mean, if you do that as air, you're doing it for the carpet bomb as well. And I just have a really strange feeling that CNCHD at some point is going to go, oh shit. <laughs> okay, thank you for confirming that, Jandy. I thought that was the case. All good. You guys crack on. No fire bases yet. And actually no gap anywhere near. It's kind of unfortunate because the one thing Zezo needs to be doing is piling on the pressure and he isn't doing that. He's actually got Gats out of uh, the chain gun. He's super early. He's taken. He's definitely taken Google's course of chain guns here. Getting it like second or third. And he's going to hear that and think, ah, okay. And I tell you what, CNCHD might get away with this. He really needs to get second nooks up though. I mean, I'm sure it was a deliberate strat. I mean, at least they're sort of efficient, but you need a second look up on both of those, man. You really do. But right now, it's not too disastrous. Laser lock here. He'll lose. It'll be a, not quite a draw. Okay. Now he needs to get a missile defender or two here. He should have gone in there. Just go in there. No need to be aggressive there. Sometimes it's good to not be aggressive. Ah, uh, this is looking painful. Okay. And the Humvee comes in here, and it could just have free reign here, you know. But that was laser locking. Alright. Wow. How on earth has he managed to keep all that? I do not know. Laser lock the second gate. He can take another gate with you here. And he will. Uh, he won't. <laughs> okay, but still. What is he going to do to deal with this? I think, yeah, this is where the strat kind of unravels, really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done what he did. He's got search and destroy, but no ability to use it. And that's GG. Yeah, that's GG. Nothing you can do about that. Three chain gun gats in your base. A fourth one here. Needs to go there. Don't know the supply. Supply one going down. This will go down any second now. I mean, he's got certain destroy V. So, he, but even if you micro it at this stage, you haven't got the resource. You can get two nooks back up. But dealing with that. And he's just going to give him a taste of his own medicine from the last game now, by the looks of it. Get around these buildings and just make sure he can't do this. Yeah, he's remembered that gap now too. Yeah, that's painful. And that's gone down. And it's GG. Yeah, GG. Slightly conflicted there. I think CNCHD didn't you mean to get Spy Drone. I really hope that was the case anyway. Yeah, should have probably gone on that occasion more defensive. Typical. Goes more aggressive on that occasion. Probably wanted to be a bit more defensive. Right, let's not be a noob this time. Let's actually open it up. Uh, so, very quick. Quickly, on second, guys. Let's update the scoreboard. So Zezon is now three two up. Uh, I will show my display on this occasion, and I will show that CNC HD has used up his air. It will show that Zezon has used up his tank, and that the score is two three. Okay. Back to the game. Almost clicked the wrong one there. My bad.
Yeah, it's an easy mistake to make. I have a bit of sympathy for him there. I make that mistake. I mean, someone, I'm, I'm sure an expert made that mistake or someone high level made that mistake only yesterday or the day before and I can't remember. It was in the extravaganza. I can't remember who it was, but it was horrible to watch and you knew. Always the way. Right. So, guys, I think I saw natural threats selected. Is that? I'm pretty sure I've got natural threats on there. Yeah, I have. Okay. Uh, one second. Streamer, can you ask someone? Ah, okay. Choose the map. Thank you for alerting me to that, Jundi. And apologies that I missed that, uh, Dreist. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll ask the NCHD to go red. Uh, hopefully, that'll help. Let me know if that helps. Uh, and if it isn't any better, uh, just chat back to me and I will respond and I will let get that changed again. Apologies for missing that, my friend. Uh, okay, natural frets chosen by Millie. And Zezon's gone for the Vanilla USA. Okay. What will CNC HD choose? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for alerting me to that, man. Okay, we see a uh, very balanced, probably one of the most 50-50 matchups going actually. Vanilla USA versus Vanilla GLA. Okay, nice so far. Three, two, one, let's roll. Okay, we are on natural threats, and at the bottom we have Zezon as the Vanilla USA general. And at the top we have CNCHD now in the red, hopefully that's better, as the Vanilla GLA. Okay. Second dose are coming out, that's to be expected. All good. Uh, interesting, this is interesting. So we didn't see a box from CNC HD when he was against the GLA, but we are seeing a box when he's against the USA, which actually is something I don't like to see because my own box in the past has screwed me over. Um, the dozer might get in rather unfortunately, and yeah, it just gets chaotic from there. But I think he'll probably get away with that on this occasion. No problem, my friend. Hopefully that's better. It looks like it is, judging by your response, so that's good to know. I want to make sure that all viewers can uh, enjoy this and not have to hurt their eyes in the process. That is not our aim here. Uh, okay, we're seeing just the War Factory go up for now. And this dozer was tempted to have a little look for some workers, but hasn't so far. Bullshit terrain. <laughs> Uh, Jundi, what do you... Your stream is delaying me finished my map. You might want to clarify what you mean by that. I have no clue what you mean. Uh, okay, so drone over here. That's fine. That's gotten revealed. Again, no technical upgrade. Interesting. Going to go for the big Terra Tech. Is he also going to put... Yeah, he's going to put a worker in there. 
Very slow in the middle, though. And on the right, he might get away with this. Especially, he's closed that down. I don't think he will, actually. I think that might get denied, too. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay, no, he's going to hide it. That's good. Meanwhile, the Terratex here, but is there something to see it coming? He's already laser locked it. Yeah, he's already laser locked it. There's one. Uh, you're not going to get that. Or is he? No, he's not. No, he's not. Okay, and that worker's just going to get fried. In the meantime, no map control whatsoever. Not the best opener here for CNCHD. I see. Sorry, Jandy. Right, I'm with you now. Yeah, well, that's good news for me. Bad news for you. Good news for you. <laughs> good news for everyone else. What map is it? That's what I want to know. Is it that really nice rubies and pearls 2v2 map? Because I'm wondering when that's actually going to come out. Um, that'll actually be really nice. In fact, you should get Rafe to include it on that tournament. You really should. All right, let's see. He's going to try and get this up. Will he at least deny the worker in time? He won't. So he is actually going to get a bit of map control here now. That's nice to see. Probably needed it. Should close that. Will he cancel it in time? No, I don't think he will. Yeah, that's 800 down the drain. That's a shame. Meanwhile, he's focusing on this. That's a really big, nice-looking tech RPG. Uh, there's no point. Oh, he's going to get it. He's going to get away. Okay. Could doze hunt him here. No, he's not going to doze hunt him. Way too many Vs for him to deal with. Okay. I'll just cut your losses and take a look out. It's your only chance here. Just try and take a look out. In fact, yeah, one. It's going to take this low health as well, you know. No, just go. Go for it. Go for it. He's focusing on this. Oh, he's... Oh, CNCHD. Love it. <laughs> he has Dozer Hunt and Dezon. No search and destroy for you. However... Oh, hello. We've got a push here, too. All right. Okay. If you can take that out and restrict him to one supply, that would be very nice. But all these quads coming through now. Uh, and that technical's actually managed to get away. And you've just only lost a quad here so far. I'd really like to see technical veteran. So you've got two and a half, two, three K now. Let's see something. Getting a bit of control here in the middle. Going to save the technical. Um, quads are going to get chased down. Okay. That supply goes low but isn't actually destroyed just yet. But he's only collecting on two nooks right now. Um, yeah, this is well played so far from CNCHD. Very nice. Doing good harassment, even if he hasn't made the most of the harassment via his map control, but he is getting a palace up now. Alright. I don't mind seeing that. Especially when you know your opponent can't tack up. That's good to see. But what's he going to do? Is he going to try and... He could deny the firebase. Because I think there's technicals in there, you know. No, I think he got greedy. Yeah, he got greedy. Got a little bit too greedy there. I wonder if he knows he's hunted. It's possible. I'm sure he knows, but this is nice. He's just going to try and deny this. And if you can secure this, you basically permanently deny the supply. And this is where the big supply is. I mean, what's that? It's 20, it's quite a lot of money there. And here, it's definitely a smaller one. Uh, and yeah, Zelda's just going to push through. That is a massive V army. And the palace isn't going to get up in time. Ah, oh, that's painful. And you know what? All of the good work that CNCHD's put in in this game, and it all comes down to a base trade. That palace, he's cancelled it. Alright, look at the money. Seven grand. Guys, floating seven grand. If you lose this and you float seven grand, you're kicking yourself. Absolutely kicking yourself. So you need a second arm steal, you need to spam some techs. And right now, your only chance is to go for a base trade. You know he can't build anymore, and yeah, he knows it's going for the arm stealer, which actually probably isn't a bad choice. Come in, deny the barracks now, it's his only racks. You can't go for any more. Kill the racks, kill the racks, kill the racks, don't kill the supply. You can't get any more of that. Kill the racks. Make sure he can't get any more MDs out. And yeah, Zizon knows. He knows. He's getting a palace up here now. Zizon knows he can't afford the trade here. And he's gonna get a bit of a shock here since he actually this hopefully this will alert him, but so he's lost the racks now. So right now, Zezon is more or less relying on this army, but he has completely... I think this got sold off, did it? He's rebuilding this here, but all of a sudden, this arms dealer rebuild is actually really bad. Power they're going down, that's nice. You've only got two buildings to take out, so... I would just try and get as much damage on the building as you can. Try and get this to the point where you only need two technicals. I'm um, sorry, two terrorists. And yeah, you've got a chance, but yeah, it's lost its chance now. You can't engage this V army, it's too massive. And I don't think CNCHC is going to be able to deal with it. And that's going to get the note. I'd sell it. Just sell it now. I mean, I know it doesn't matter. There is some XP to be given away. Oh, there isn't, actually. 
You can't even build some Pathfinders now, so you're giving nothing away. I guess it doesn't really matter too much if you give the XP away. There is absolutely nothing to, for Zezon to benefit, bar getting Veterancy on his vehicles, which he has now got. He's got that on the V. So actually, I mean, if you're seeing... Yeah, look at this. CNCHD knows you just need two big Terratex and you've won the game. But you're going to have to come through at the perfect angle to make it work, and I think the perfect angle might be down here. But oh, CNC, Zezon knows. He knows that he can just push out with this army. And all he needs to do is deny Terratex. And if he, as long as he denies the Terratex, he'll win this game. It all comes down to the Terratex. Alright, let's see. And where does he come from? If he comes from here, goes down, left, he's got a chance. And you're going to need to synchronise them too. Oh, it's going to be really tough, this is. It's a big ask. Really big ask. You're going to have to pop out immediately. Be nice to see something get in there too. Because that'll just slow Zezon down a little bit. Do we see the Terratex coming out just yet? Not yet. He's still loading them up. But he's going to have to be so quick. He's got a scaffold here. Alright, good. Can he get it? Can he get it? Because all Zezon needs to do with these Vs is defend, you know. That's all he's got to do. Here it comes. All right, let's see if he can do it. Pressure moment. Oh, uh, he's reacted. Yeah, Zezon's reacted. Ah, that's it. He knows. He knows all he has to do is just not be wasteful here. But he is being a ton of it. Run away, run away, run away. You just need to come from two separate angles, maybe. Yeah, Luke's just trying to bait him a little bit. He knows that. He just needs to go one at a time. I'd actually try and come one down, hit one down, and then across here. Maybe not. Ah, uh, that's painful. There it is. All right, he's got one in. Could he get the second one? Oh, he is. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Go on. Go on. Go on, son. Go on. Oh, no. It's so close. <laughs> you know what? Nice try. He got one terrorist away. One terrorist away there. Had he overloaded that? Had he overloaded those technicals? He'd have done it. Oh, that's such a shame. Gutted. So close, and now you've got no chance. Yeah, GG. He hasn't even loaded this palace. I mean, it's, it's painful because he's floating 4.5k. He has still got one worker who I'm pretty sure. Right, he needs to get moving, but there's not even any tunnels for him now. Yeah, he's going to. Yeah, GG. He knows. GG. Unlucky. Nice try. Nice try. Right, and that makes it 4-2 for Mr. Zezon. Oh, wrong one. Show display. I'm really going to need to get used to this. Uh, let's get this. We then, we now saw, what do we see? We saw CNCHD, he was the GLA, and we saw Zezon's USA. And the score is now 4-2. All right. Let's go back into the game. Back over to CNCHD's choice now. Open that. Go Observer. Okay. Get the chat back up. And looks like you guys have just seen the climatic moment. Okay. CNCHD is going for the nuke. Okay. What map would he like? T D. All right. T D. No bugs. Car Z H V one. What was this on go for? Just waiting to see now what he's going to go for. How's the viewers doing? Oh, John D. <laughs> Just seen, yeah. Realised. I know, I know. It's unfortunate. He had a good chance, but just missed out. I tell you what, I'm quite happy there's a big discussion. It might not be related to the game specifically, but I like the fact that there's discussion. It's good. We want to see a bit of activity. It's nice. 
Especially when it's all about ZH, eh? Okay. Just waiting on Zezon to get that big super brain computer going. Or super computer brain, I should say. What will he choose? What has he got left, actually? I mean... So, he has got... Uh, nope, that's the wrong player. He's got GLA, Air, Infantry, Nuke, Toxin, and Stealth. So, he's going to go for the Stealth General. Alright, okay. Nuke Stealth. Nice matchup. I like to see that. Alright, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Alright. Match number 7. And we see CNT HD in the red up here as the Chinese Nuke General. And at the bottom we have Zezon as the GLA Stealth General. Alright. Will we see many hijackers? We shall see. Standard opener otherwise from CNT HD. That's good to see. Looks like he's going to go here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That'll be a sell. There'll be a supply here. He'll send his first truck forward to deny these workers. That's good to see. Racks here. Supplies here. Boxing in. I think that's good. You want to box in against Nuke General because those battle masters are really annoying. One battle master gets into the supply line. Boom. It's guaranteed death for those workers. All right. Two over here, so he's going to probably get tunnel and supplies here. And yet, here comes our first truck. All right, as expected, going to deny him almost instantly. And I tell you what, if he's quick enough, yeah, yeah, brilliant. All right, well done. And right now, not even a slight hint of map control for Zezon. Very deep in the base so far. Getting a second Rax, I'm going to guess that's to get some terrorists out. Oh my god, he's going to deny this. I tell you what, he is. He's going to deny that. Oh, that's a real pain. Deny him now. And you just got to get a technical out. Oh, what a pain. It's actually a fairly good start, this. And what are you going to do? Yeah, it's going to crush him. Yeah, nice. Going to crush him. But what are you going to do? I mean, alright, he's getting a tunnel up here. But what are you going to do about this first dragon tank? Alright, he's going to get a hijacker. Yeah, that's what the Rax is for. Alright, it's so risky opening with a flamer. It really is. He is going to get some more crushes in here, but I don't think he's going to concentrate on this. And uh, that's painful. In there now. Oh, he gets another worker. All right. It did a lot of work. It definitely paid for itself there. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he hasn't missed it. He knows it's coming now. Uh, don't sit on it forever. Don't sit on it. Uh, he's going to start flaming the racks. But it's not going to matter. Hijack is coming from behind. There's nothing you can do. You could you could map hack. Uh, Jundi. Oh, there it is. He he will actually take one. He actually took another hijack. All right. Okay. He's got the right response. Uh, Jundi, to answer your question, the timer in the middle is really annoying. And no matter what I do, I can't get rid of it. And it's just a really handy scoreboard. It's perfect apart from that annoying timer. So I just made sure it's set to zero. I think it's because it's designed originally for like some sort of sport maybe. Like this dragon tank's going to come on the right. That's nice, but that's good from CNCHD. He's going to deny that, and I think that's really important because that just needs to pop in a tunnel and sneak. Uh, he's not going to quite deny it in time. Okay. He'll probably repop from there and just go up and around here. Uh, in the meantime, we've got a technical coming through here. There's another hijacker. I like to see a lot of hijackers. It's good. They're really difficult to deal with, especially if you don't if you don't bother building any outposts. It's a real problem. And this technical could cause a host of problems in the meantime. Whole world of issues. He's going to see here, there's nothing. If he's got a worker, he could just drop him off and start harvesting, to be honest. There goes another battle master. And he's just going to take this one as well. Oh, it's really painful. Yeah, the worker here. Ah, it's looking bad, this. He's in a good position now, Zezon. He's definitely got something in there. He's just forgotten about it. Yeah, tech RPG. Run forward. Come with a gap. He's coming with that flame. He somehow saved the flamer. All right, okay. And he's denied the flamer of Zez on there. That's good. But he's... Oh, look at that. He's got another one here. Look at this. Just a hijacker spam. He can't deal with it. You just need an outpost. Just buy an outpost. He's going for a prop now. All right, he doesn't know that there's no... Oh, that's a shame. But he could have just got the scrap. Got a super tech. That would have been GG right there. You get a super tech, it's GG. More or less. And this is where it gets painful for CNT HD because he's going to see this tunnel up and think, ah, crap. That is the map presence he doesn't want to deal with. 
It really doesn't. And all of this is just going to get denied eventually by just a load of hijackers. That's how everything else has been denied so far. Another one got denied here a minute ago. He's actually going to push through with them now. Yeah, he's got three of them. And what do you do about that? What can you do? He's going to get hunted in the process. Both his dozers are right here. Go there, drop them off, take the both. GG. Got to cancel that. Yeah, it's gone. He knows it. Yeah, he's taking that one, and he's taking that one. It's GG. Run away. Don't need to. Say, don't need to lose it. Yeah, it's GG. I mean, he's getting. I'll tell you what. He is getting good damage on here, but it just needs to be a bit of supply out there, and he is. Yeah. He's even getting denied that. Another hijacker. He's going to take the healthy one. It's going to finish all that. Yeah. Boom. And he's just going to pull these back as well. What are you supposed to do about that? I don't think he's even going to take this Rax in the end, is he? No, he's not. He's going to deny this eventually, but just pop out here. There's all sorts he could do. He's, he's, he's even not really got that much income. He's only got very slow income coming from the middle. Flamer here, not really doing anything. He's going to chase that away, but he finally gets an outpost. <laughs> Need the outpost as his second unit. Oh dear, not good. Not good. Nish good. Yeah, getting another tunnel up here. He's even stealth the supply. I mean, he will see it because he's finally built himself an outpost, but yeah. He's denying the supply in the middle now. He's got this back up. He's actually got a perfect supply up there, so that's nice. Dragon tank on the right. Could actually do some work, but it depends if he, how many of these he's got. These two are just denying this. He is. Oh, that's unlucky. He actually nearly denied all of that. Alright. But now the technical, unload, and that's painful, really painful, bang, yeah, there goes another, save that, yeah, he's going to save it, those two in there, and now it's looking really bad, he's got some flamers which you probably need to send in immediately here, because there's no point trying to defend against that with the flamer, flamer down here in the meantime, looking to try and sneak in, but that one battlemaster alone should deal with that, and even then he's got a hijacker and a terrorist, Getting another worker up now. Another tunnel up, I should say. Hasn't even managed to kill that, so he's going to lose that. And yeah, it's just he's even spotted that. Spotted that almost immediately, you know. And now he's just going to die. His hijacker won't obviously get there in time, so he's just going to deny it, which is sensible. No point taking risks. I mean, he's won this game. No point risking it. He's actually still alive, causing havoc. That's good. CNCHD has absolutely no income whatsoever. And Zezon is monstering it, and that... Last flame of deny will probably be the GG. I would have thought he's going to call it. There it is. There's the call. GG. Zezon goes to 5 2. All right. Okay. Let's update the score. Zezon is now 5 2 up. Just create the game. And then what I'll do is open this. Uh, and not that. I need to update the scoreboard. We saw CNCHD as the nuke, and we saw Zezon as the stealth. And the score is now 5 2. I won't bother showing it on this occasion. Okay, just waiting for Zezon to come in. It's his map choice. Uh, so we go over to that. I need to have a quick look. Agreed, guys. Let's hear some noise for CNCHD. Let's get him back. He actually got back into this game, and now since that, I mean, Zezon's just let, it, let him. He's gone a little bit ahead now, a bit of a lead, but it's still possible if he gets them. If he gets the choices correct, you never know. I need to go observer. Yeah, that would help. Uh, what map will we see, guys? What map do you fancy? Okay, got all our players here. Uh, actually, it's probably a bit late. I wonder if someone actually um, managed to speak of it earlier, though. Let's find out. Were there any maps suggested other than natural threats? I'm probably looking too far at the back here. Oh, I'm going to have to just go with one. Back to Zezon. Okay. Uh, what map do I want to see? Uh, 
let's have a quick look. Uh, what map should we select? I think. Hmm. Okay. How about chosen that? Okay, we we're reserving that one for the f potential mirror. Uh. Homeland Rocks. Let's see it. Let's let's go with that. Get a bit of desert back in there. I mean, we just saw desert, but you know, it's cold outside, and I like being reminded of this. Being reminded of warmer times. At least I'm warm in the house right now, so that's the good news. Okay. So we're just waiting on Zezon to choose his first army. What is available to him? He has got GLA, air. Inf, Nuke and Tox. And I tell you what, those are some pretty cushy armies to have when you are 5-2 up. Uh, let's try and remind him here. I don't think I need to remind him. These guys are pro. Having a nice little chat about my misspell for a second. All right. Now, because both of these players have already played on this uh, set before, or certainly since GHD has streamed them, um, they know the deal and they know they need to keep a record of the armies they're choosing. So, in a way, I don't really need to do it for them, but they are nonetheless, which is good. Good practice. It's good to know yourself what your strategy is. Okay. Uh, MT King, what is my camera height setting? I think it is just whatever the game default is, which is 37 and a half degrees. Yeah, it is. Oh wait, camera height. One. Oh uh, right. Okay, you're right. Actually, uh, it is pretty high. I don't think that's a bad thing for the purposes of observing. I think that's actually deliberate. But let's test. Let's actually narrow it slightly to 90. Let's do that. See how, how much of a difference that makes. Zezon's going with Nuke. All right. He's getting his weak. Probably one of the weakest armies he's got available, actually. Nuke Tox. Okay. Nice matchup. Good luck. Have fun. Let's get our little free ready. Off we go. Okay. So at the, to at the bottom here we have CNC HD as the GLA Toxin General. And at the top we have Zezon as the China Nuke. Okay. What will we see from both players here? I think... I think if you're the Toxin General, an, a perfectly viable strategy here is to go tunnel, 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 and delay your arms, dealer. Because I really think if you get good a stranglehold on this map, you give the nuke little chance. Having said that, having said that, if your opponent in, as the nuke goes fast prop, that suddenly becomes a really bad strategy. So maybe you're just better off keeping it standard. One thing I like to see, go for a fast dozer hunt. It's actually probably a slightly harder map to dozer hunt on, but... I mean, when is a dozer hunt not a good strategy? Let's be honest, guys. When you're the GLA, it just makes sense. Make life easy for yourself. I believe, you know, we all know that Excal's famous for it, but at the end of the day, he's famous for it for a reason. It's effective. You've got to do it. you got to do what you got to do to win at the end of the day. Unless you're Air Force against SWG and you go for a combat Chinook, then you deserve... <laughs> then you deserve slating a little bit. Because you don't need that. Come on. You don't need that. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing someone lose that. <laughs> okay, nice forward aggressive uh, tunnel there from CNCHD, very nice. Has it been waypoint scouted or is it just pure chance that he's going that way? Because that's a bit of a shame that, it's a really good position. 
Maybe he could have gone up there and then he wouldn't have seen it, but yeah, it's going to get denied. Meanwhile, he has got this one up. Okay, that's going to get denied. Will he cancel it in time? Yes, he does. That's good. Okay. Now he probably is going to need... He has got a fast war factory up. Okay. Needs a tunnel there. Should get up in time. One tunnel will deal with the dragon tank. No problem. Nothing to stop anything coming down the middle at the minute, but he is slowly working his way across the map to secure it. Uh, Terratech gets denied. Okay, that's a good deny there from Zezon. He has dropped off a man here, but that too is going to get denied. So not the best tech Terra push there from uh, CNCHD. We do see a bit of harassment coming down here in the meantime. Okay, this is what we want to see, a Marauder tank. Now, a Marauder works really, really well when you have Dozer Hunted your opponent because then you can't deny scrap. And if you can't deny scrap, then you just end up with a load of horrifically powerful Marauders and it's GG. That's going to get in the supply line, you know. Yeah, that's going to chase him off, but he, I, it's good just going to get in the supply line. He could go for either one, actually. We do see three Marauder tanks now, that's nice. This is really difficult to deal with. So winning this, yeah, he's seen, he recognises it. Get a fast prop up. This Marauder's spazzing out a little bit. Actually, CNC Dean knows that, and now he's going to actually micro it correctly. That's nice to see. This Marauder's now going to take care of this Battlemaster. That's good. And yeah, you see that? He's just chasing him off. He knows that he can get two shots in, and now he's going to micro it again. Now he's going to micro it again, and now he's going to get the final shot off. Will he micro it again? One more bit of micro. He's just worried about that for now. Oh, he's gone too early, I think. He's gone too early. And he's actually sending him back. No, he's not. I don't think he meant to do that. Yeah, okay, there we go. Marauder go for the scrap. Yeah, I don't think he could even deny that. Will he deny that, though? Do we see a scrap tonight? We see some action over here. It's a really nice position, that. With the Toxin Tunnel, he's going to take that out now. Uh, no scrap tonight, and he does get the scrap. Pop out a Marauder, maybe? That would be good to see. He's actually gone to a third supply as well. That's nice. I think if he popped out, just you just need to pop out a Marauder. Just one. He can take the flames. Right, now he's going to pop a Marauder out. Surely. All right, he's got it over here. Okay. Pop the Marauder. Just pop one. Then to get a tunnel in here. It's a real shame. He didn't need to go down. I didn't need to go down. He's going to keep it. But is he going to build a second one very quickly? Because he's going to need it. Could get... Uh, it's too late. He's going to lose that. In the meantime, however, he sent a Marauder here, and that is going to become a Super Marauder, is it? Uh, no, there's no scrap there. Interesting. Not sure. Does a Dozer not give scrap, or am I making that up? I don't know. I'm sure a Dozer gives scrap. Anyway, I might be making that up. He he's definitely gives scrap, and he's definitely going for it as quickly as he can, because now he knows how powerful they are. And this is just going to get sweeped up. Even the outpost, he's going to target the outpost down. Or just target that, actually. Okay, yeah, nice micro. In the meantime, that's just wrecking absolutely everything. All of this is going down. And he has got an Overlord out. But, yeah, he's selling it. That might even go down. If it gets heroic, it could take that Overlord on, you know. Go on. Oh, okay, watch this. Ready? It is probably not going to take it. He's got the first shot in. That's a shame. Oh, my God. <laughs> now that... That's just ridiculous. That is how overpowered these units are. There is nothing more sa satisfying than seeing a heroic, fully scrapped Marauder. And he's got another one here. Engage. Just engage them both. That's a shame. That is a shame. Ah, oh, sad to see that go down. Because in the meantime, he's actually denying this here. He has got a lot there. Oh, my God. This is a nice unit composition. He's actually got a battle bus on the way. And this just needs to deny that man. You deny him. And you will. Yeah, he will. He will deny him. That's good. Good play. He's even got this back. And Zerzon's struggling here. He's just got the one dozer. He's got the one supply. He's got his prop back up. But, well, he's not floating. I mean, there's a big float here from uh, CNCHD. And it looks like he's manually creating them. There's a black market. That's nice to see. This is going to be really... He's even got another double turret and marauder back. And that is going to be really difficult to deal with. All you need to do now, take these men back, maybe. I mean, maybe engage this at first, but otherwise you can just get away with engaging. But these guys, get Anthrax Gamma and stick it in a bus, and it's GG. Simple. Got his radar van out now. That'll help his awareness. Rafe, I expected such a noob comment from you. Just kidding. <laughs> 
Hello there, Excal. I've just seen that you're in here as well. Hi, hi. What's the problem with it? You know what the problem is with it. Come on. Take a... It's 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 uh it's a bit cheap for my liking. Even for my newbie liking, that's just too far, my friend. Okay, just see. I thought that was a Rax. You know what's a tunnel? There we go. He clicked probably the wrong hotkey there. Gonna take him on. Take it on. You can. All of this is gonna chop that in no time. Don't see Anthrax Gamma just yet. He needs to get this bad boy in. Yeah, look at the damage done already. It's painful. Really difficult to deal with all this. You only got the one dozer. He has got an ECM out now. But look at this. Here we go. Engage. Yeah. Bang. One. Bang. Two. And it's GG. Well played here from CNCHD. Three supplies. Really secure. No win. No harassment. What a mistake. Yeah. I don't know what he's referring to. I guess he's referring to the lack of scrap deny, which, if he's right, is a massive mistake. GG. Well done. Well played, CNCHD. All right. Good job. You have been defeated. Okay. Get out in time, let's create another room. I'll update the score in a second. 22 viewers, oh my goodness, what is going on? If I was in a board meeting right now and there was 22 people in front of me, I'd be like, ah, but I'm not. It's nice and chilled out, so thank you guys. Yeah, I know, not a fan of the Marauders. I mean, to be honest, I think it, it, they are underused and they're certainly in the semi environment and combined with a dozer hunt, it's really overpowered, actually. It's something that I might even try to build into my game a little bit more often. Uh, okay, so we're at four, five, three now. CNCHD gets back a little bit there. And what I'm now going to do is show my display, get my little fancy scoreboard up. And we now see CNCHD has used up his toxin. And Zezon has used up his nuke. Uh, not his toxin, he's used up his nuke. And the score is now 5-3. Okay. Back to the game. Vendetta. Okay. Very nice. We all like a bit of Vendetta. Definitely one of the best. Probably, probably the best maps to come out, actually, in the last couple of years, I think. Or last, certainly the last year. Very nice. Going for infantry. I think that's a pretty good choice, you know. What Zezon... Okay. Zezon has got his Toxin available to him, so I think that would make sense to just go Tox here. Chats are connected, so that's good to see. Very nice. Hello there, Simon, aka Molia. Nice to see you. So, best of 13, and it's 5 3 right now. Okay. Antipro is a big fan of CNCHC, of course. Lovely guy, great guy. Everyone is here, really. Nice little room here. Got Zez on. Ah, oh, almighty gentle creator. Got a nice bunch of people in the chat as well, which is nice to see. Uh, Chechen or Chechen or Keken, however that's pronounced, to answer your question. It's not a tournament game. It is. It's part of a series of uh, semi. Uh, stream spectacular as it's known uh, you can see a link to it um, in the description actually um, and it's just an opportunity for some semis to get a bit more game time really um, even though the extravaganza has given that to them to an extent but when that starts that will die off so yeah a lot a part of it also came about because there was a couple of matches we wanted to see we wanted to see a Rosa and Queen face off uh, we also wanted to see Molière and Staz. Yeah, okay. Uh, he's gone for the Toxin. That's not a huge surprise. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah, plenty in hyphenated brackets as they say. <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Not gonna bother a countdown this time. Don't wanna waste any time. Okay. So at the bottom we have Z and C H D in the red still as the infantry general. 
And at the top, we have Zezon as the Tox. What will he do here? Will he go for a Lix? I think probably. I also think it's definitely probably your best strat when you're going to Tox, even though it's insanely predictable. Uh, chats, we've got a few bing. I see Rubik, I see Excal having an interesting chat about Scorps versus Marauders, which is a solid chat, I think. There are definitely times when Marauders can be used, but you're right, I mean, Scorpions are a lot more flexible generally, and more often than not, I think I'd use them. To, you you want to base it on your opponent, right? I think there are times when you can they can work, but... Uh, good question. Will I watch Stanislav tonight? Of course I will. I'm pretty sure I will anyway. I mean, I should probably go out for a run at some point, but... <laughs> There we go. Okay, we're seeing a War Factory Rax build order. Interesting. And so, seeing CHD... Uh, sorry, Zezon is going a bit of map control up here. Getting a terrorist. I tell you what. I don't know. I think he could have gotten away with the Lex on this game. Judging by Zezon's build order. I don't know. Wait and see. He's got a bit of, He hasn't really got any money even for quads. Uh, okay, yeah, right. Stinger. Yeah, so he is anticipating the Lex. But he's not going to see a Lex. So, all right. One point to see in CHD, and especially if he goes up here. But it's a, yeah, it's a really defensive stance. This it's going to be quite tough to break, and that's all you really need to do. That's all you really need to do when you're tox, just defend, and realistically, you're going to win. Because the longer the game goes on, the more it goes in your favour. Having said that, an infantry general can do okay if it gets map control, and that's why I don't mind seeing a licks because even if you do that. And you have a dragon tank come in. You have your dragon tank burn him out. And you use your licks just to deny the map control, really. He is going to deny that there. That's nice. I don't know how full that is. I think he definitely put a couple more in there. There's the dragon tank. But there's the tech and quad. That has got something in. Now, I think he wanted to go there, did he? But no, okay, fine. This Will he get denied? I think... Oh, T, 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 T. Not quite... That was nice. This is going to be a terror tech. He's going to not quite. That's painful. And now the final one which come in round here and yeah, kill it off. That's a shame. Lost two trucks as well. He might not lose this actually. I don't think Zezon's concentrating. I think he's worried about this. And then there's a flamer up there too. Okay, he's just crushing. Is he going to go for a dozer? Yes, he is. Okay. Dozer isn't quite going to get away there. But there is a... Okay, the tentacle will get away. But these two RPGs... They'll go down. He didn't take the supply out, so that's interesting. But look at this. I mean, that. At this stage, when you see a player do this in their base, you've got to just clear out the map control. You really do. But this guy's going to be a pain. He could go in there, take out the arm stealer. If you can do that and expand out in the meantime, that's really annoying. He's just gone for a flamer spam here. And I'm not convinced that was the right choice. Oh, actually. Oh, actually. Hang on. All right. He's telling a lie. He is. He's. Awesome. So don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, he hasn't lost it. Alright, Zezon's in trouble. He's taken a lot of damage and he still hasn't taken the flamer out. He hasn't taken the flamer. Now it's gone. Now you just want to evac that and take out the arm stealer because Yeah, that's a this is a really good position now. Evac, evac, evac. Got to evac. Okay, he is. Good. Just go for that. Just suicide to units, it's worth it. Yeah, well done. Good choice. On the left, we see that single technical doing nothing. It's just sitting on zero HP. Even takes that down. Just chill. Yeah, just sit there. It's something he's got to deal with. Look at this. He's got a tunnel. He has a single supply. And he's only just getting his arm stealer back. And CNCHD now has a real good chance to win this. Yeah, GG. Well done. Well played. That's a real good turnout, that is. It's a really good result. CNCHD needed that. Zezon's preparing a comment of some kind, is he? Wait and see. He says GG. He hasn't actually GG'd out just yet. He is now going to deny the tunnel in the middle. Maybe he just wants to be absolutely sure that he's it's a GG here. Because he has denied a dozer. Yeah, that's definitely going to get taken out now. Free, a, a tunnel can't deal with free dragon tanks. Yeah, look at that. It's going down. And there's an outpost probably full going up there. Technical's still there. He hasn't realised it's still alive, you know. And he's finally managed to clear that out. He said GG, but he hasn't actually GG'd out just yet. It might have been a tad early, because it's still not impossible to win. It's really difficult. But CNCHD hasn't made the most of his map control, and he's going for this now, and I don't know. I'd have taken third supply and go for a command, maybe. I mean, right now, he hasn't exactly needed a prop. 
Still can't believe that technical's there. Oh, my God. This guy's going to come in now and cause a problem. He's got a Marauder. <laughs> Why has he got a Marauder against Inf? Oh, to deal with the Dragon Tanks, but come on. Don't do that. Because he's got no chance against him. And all he needs to do is go across there and chill. And that's it. Nothing to do. He's going to deny that. That's nice. I really want to see a scrap deny, though. Okay, he's going to try and lure him in, but it's not going to work, is it? Yeah, okay, he saves the flame, but that's nice. What's he going to do here? He's going to try and expand back out. He's interesting. He's GD, GD. hasn't actually left the game yet, and this is going to get denied now. And did that GG just throw CNCHD off a little bit? Because he's there now actually firing again. He's been alerted to it, so that's going to go down. And he's killed that off. All right. Yeah, I told you, he's not quite out of it just yet. Zezon is still in this. Dragon tank, that's not going to get in. Stinger will take that down in no problem. Only just mines, but yeah. <clears throat> it's a bit wasteful here from CNCHD. Just take the map. Yeah, he's realised it now. He's going to get some Inferno cannons. I mean, he could just... Get yourself a Lotus. Fast Lotus. One, two, supply, dozer. You could even take this supply if you've got yourself another dozer. I mean, it's just engaging here, but... Too much time concentrating on dealing with all this when you could just expand and dominate the map, really. You take everything. The more you take, the better chance you have. Mind you, this one force alone is dealing with it. And you could just send that up there. Yeah, you can just deny that supply. Alright. That one quad isn't going to do anything. I'd like to see a Toxin Rebel, but he hasn't even got a Rax. Engage that now. I don't think he's realised. Oh, he has now, but it's too late. Or is it too late? No, it's too late. Okay, that quad comes in now and does its job. Yeah, okay, he's denied that in the end. But look at all this. He has absolute map dominance. He's got his third supply up now. I'd love to see a Lotus come out. I still haven't seen it. Plenty that we can still see from CNCHD here. Looks like Rafe's getting really mad with... <laughs> yeah, Rafe's definitely getting mad with Millie. I mean, come on. Can't be mad. No one can be mad at Millie. It's impossible. Uh, thank you very much, Magical. Okay, Tokyo High Star. Okay, Ali. Appreciate the kind comment there. Giving it a go, thought why not? Right, we see some infernos. Don't see that every day. No upgrade, probably don't need. It's probably a bit overkill. Um, having said that, yeah, he's getting another power, but it's an interesting choice. I can't think why he's getting another power. He's only got the one dozer. Just get yourself a command so that you can expand really quick there. That's nice. And he's just sort of taking his time here, really. I mean, I don't mind taking your time if you're taking the entire map, but he hasn't done it. There's no lotus. He hasn't taken the oils. He has at least got three supplies now. But you could take a fourth, a fifth. You could do everything. I mean, you could just get a bunker up here. You could take the Mickey. And that's... Oh, my God. It's gone in. And even that guy. Yeah. I don't... Is it going to go down? I think it might just go down. Yeah, it'll go down to the hole. Oh, my God. No, it won't. That's unlucky. But it's an interesting choice here by CNCHD. I mean, it's a good army, but... I mean... These Inferno Cannons, I think they can get too shotted by these guys. And you just need to react. And I don't know, I think these Flamers will have to go in and then the Inferno's in the background. Has he actually got any upgrades? No, he's not gone for Black Napalm. Probably can't really afford the time to. And um, where is that Dozer? He's getting his supply up now. Four supply, okay. You can get away with that. But you have no outposts. So how are you going to deny that? Ah, oh, it's bad. Oh, he didn't actually get a flame ball. I was convinced he'd get a flame ball there. No ECM. Need an ECM. Badly need an ECM because one, two, I mean, nearly goes down. With Gamma, that's a two shot. Definitely. That's nice. Nice to see. More or less perfect. But it's just really slow here. He hasn't, oh, he hasn't even reacted to that. Go on, CNCHD. Got Barracks up here with his final dozer. That I don't get. I really don't get this. If you get Dozer Hunted in this position, you only have yourself to blame. You can't do that. I don't know what he's trying to do here. And also, I don't know why he's just not going in with that flamer. Just all of that flamer. Yeah, there you go. Flame it. I don't know, man. Yeah, you're right, Jundi. Still not collecting on his third. Still nothing there. Your one Dozer is in an extremely perilous position. And you have nothing to back this up. It's really painful. 
That dozer needs to build that and just run. Run, 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 run. You get that one tank hunter in there, though. Okay. Oh, the dozer. The dozer. No, CNCHD, what are you doing? You're f literally throwing this. You have thrown it. I mean, you are throwing it. Oh, I don't know. I think he's throwing it. I really do. You can still get a Lotus out. You can still take the two oils. Still hasn't done it. Still hasn't got an ECM. <laughs> still losing quads unnecessarily. I mean, he's going to get away with it there. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to turn back into it and lose it. That's a shame. That was a really powerful quad. And the Marauder could get double scrapped here. Because he's going to deny that. I uh, might not, actually. Probably not going to do it. Yeah, he's not going to do that in time. Okay. I mean, CNCHD. There's the Lotus. But he's going to have an income that exceeds the amount he can build. He's only got one barracks and one war factory. And I can't believe he was that crazy suicidal with his one dozer. I don't know. I think I don't think he realised his dozer hunted, you know. And he can still win this. Quite. Don't get me wrong. He can still just flood him, but... He's just really making hard work of it. You need to deny this, definitely. I want to get, I want to see some stuff going up there. You want to get a Lotus in, but you're not going to be able to get Lotus in. There's nowhere she can get in. So all she can do is capture these. Oh, man. I can't believe this. I really can't. So painful to watch. So much more CNCHD could have done in this game. But, you know, I'm not going to criticise too much because it's not my game. I don't like to criticise. And there's the Palace. And that equals John Kell, and that is a big force. That's going to mince through that. And suddenly, from GG from Zezon, I think it's GG for Zezon. Yeah, this is painful. Uh, he's going to get the third supply off, and there's nothing he can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Can't even transition. He's no ECM. Not a single ECM I've seen. He could even use his Lotus. Lotus at this stage has one really essential use here. She can at least shut off from a long distance these units. And then the rest of this can mince it. That's going to go down. That was empty anyway. Has he got any mini gunners? No, he's just brute forced it. That is a lot of tank gunners though. That's going to go down. He hasn't quite evac in time. Actually, that one Marauder will take a few of these down, you know, because of the toxin. Yeah, look at that. One, two, three, four... Yeah, that's painful. Probably won't get away with that, though. In the meantime, he's got these going up. And he's going to use the Lotus to take that out. Because it's all you can do. But where's the German kill? He's, he's moments away, I think. If he's not already in there, actually. A German in there. Uh, that's nice. i tell you what. Uh, that would be one way back. If you could if you could get his tech. That's one way back. Because you got all the money. Look at this. There's the float I was talking about. The inevitable float that comes with it. He's even bought patriotism because you can't really spend your money otherwise. He did eventually react and he got there. That's good. Uh, he bought some trucks back there. He's, he's literally collecting on four supplies and he only has one war factory and one barracks to produce from. Oh, I can't believe that he just got rid of that dozer. It's so painful. And it's so unusual. Normally a semi is quite quick to get their command back. And he didn't. And he's four star. And he's missing out on all the promotions. And oh my god. It just hurts. I think CNCHD right now is absolutely murdering himself for this. Especially when a German kill comes out. And there he is. Oh dear. I think Excals realise. <laughs> yeah. There it is. And there's the German. And all you need to do is camp the palace. There's nothing you can do. He knows it's there. He's got plenty of outposts. Just dot your outposts around. So at least you scout the Jarman. But look at this now. Oh my god. <laughs> he has got a lot of units, don't get me wrong. But Jarman Kale, microed correctly. You just sit in your base at this stage. You really do. There's nothing else you need to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's difficult. It's really difficult. And he's got the gamma upgrade now. So they go down like a knife through butter. Yeah, that's painful. This jam is going to get that up really quickly. Oh my god. What are you supposed to do? And what can you do? This gamma is just going to go through. Oh my god. I tell you what, there are so many here though. And there's just nothing you can do to deny the jam. And look at this absolute flood. It's really fun to see, but that jam and kill alone is going to do it. He is. He really is. That jam and kill is just going to mint 
everything, and it's fucking brilliant to watch. <laughs> I mean, the palace went down in seconds, but wow. Jarman, 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 run away. Yeah. That one unit wins you the game, really. And even this in the background. Oh my god, he's having an absolute field day. <laughs> I mean, he's just said, fuck my life, and I don't blame him. Because he has really thrown it. Really thrown it. That was painful. And in a matchup that he shouldn't have won, that he could have won, he's still ended up not winning. And that is really unfortunate. And the score is now 6 3. So Zezon is on match point. Uh, I will just very quickly show you. Uh, let's go make that 6 3. Quickly show display just so you can see what I've updated here. Okay. We'll go back into there. Back into zero hour and I'll create a game. Go observer. Uh, and that was game number nine. So game number 10, uh, Zezon's going to ask me to choose a map. So let's choose a map. Let's try and choose a map that uh, CNC HD would like. Uh, sorry. Yeah, actually, yeah. One that's, it says on choice, but we'll try and pick one for CNCHD. Yeah, we want to see him get back, don't we? Uh, that's a bit campy. Don't want it to be too campy. Uh, don't want it to be too big at the same time. Mm, running out of time here. Running out of space, even. All right. Okay, let's see it. Let's just go standard and go Arctic Lagoon. Okay. Right. Let's try and keep CNCHD happy here. <laughs> uh, and his emotion right now is exactly how I am every time I play. So don't worry, mate. I'm the same. <laughs> yeah. Some people... Yeah, there you go. He really did go AOD on that mode. It worked. <laughs> it does. Yeah, done already. Arctic Lagoon. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, let's just double check the remaining armies. So, remaining armies, there's four left. GLA, air... Oh, no, sorry, three left. Apologies, GLA, air, and inf. Actually, I'm not going to say that. He knows it's GLA, air, inf. He knows... He, they, these guys know what they've got left. So, we've got GLA, air, inf. For Zezon. And for CNCHD, we have USA Laser Stealth. So realistically, if Sezon's clever, he can just bait out and just do Air V USA or Laser. So don't use your air now. Save it. And realistically, you just guaranteed the win. Yeah, use your GLA now. That's right. And so CNCHD should use one of his. He should use his laser or his USA here. I think that's what he should do. Yeah, some of the people in the chat just realising how did he not manage to not win that. I know. It happens though. It happens. <laughs> X-Gal's coming. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I know, I can't help it. I'm just it's just in case you watch you know, watch it back and this is what you should have done instead. I'm sure though, alright, let's go, let's go with this. <laughs> You're right. It's like didn't do this, didn't do this, didn't do this. But you know what? I don't want to criticize too much. <laughs> I am an arsehole. <laughs> I don't even mean to be. No, no, it's 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 just one of those, isn't it? I think it was just unfortunate that he threw that dozer. That was the most painful thing. You get the command up early, you can just expand through the map and just completely dominate. You know your opponent's just camped in his base. And when your opponent's camped in the base, you've got to make the most of it. Ah, I see. Thank you, Peter. Peter Lee. Uh, I like to think I'm a friendly streamer. More often than not, maybe someone will get me mad. Who knows? I'll tell you what, I've got an idea. When it comes to streaming experts, I'm going to go maximum criticism mode. Because, you know, I think you can get away with it with them. And it's real proof, isn't it? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go Serez Critique mode. Is that it? I think that is that the uh, mode? I think it's called Serez Critique, is it, that Fargo did that time? Yeah, I'll go full Serez Critique mode. Only when experts are playing, though. Right, in the meantime, since he actually was down here as the USA Laser, and he's just he's not going to go for a box. All right, susceptible to a dozer hunt. He's going for a fast wolf factor here, fast barracks, and he's on $300, which means he's got Chinooks on both of these. Okay, uh, meanwhile, we see a standard opener for the vanilla GLA of Zezon at the top. Getting a tunnel up here. We don't see, as from what I can tell, there's no effort to deny any tunnels or map control for the GLA. So that gives Zezon a fairly good chance here. Okay, GLA is here, yeah, fine. Got a terrorist out, didn't actually get one here, didn't need it in the end. But he is going to go for the terror tech by the looks of it. And that could be difficult to stop, actually. I'd like to see... This is easy to forget on this map. But in the beginning stages when you're USA, I'd like to see this supply plant initially get clipped. Just to be able to get that economy going a tiny bit a tiny bit faster early on. What is the thing in the middle of the scoreboard? It is an unnecessary... It is a completely superfluous timer, my friend. I know. I doesn't need it. It doesn't need to be there. I will eventually get a scoreboard. That's nice. Alright, that's nice from CTHD. He is actually going to deny some map control here after all. That's quite good. Don't know what these two RPGs are doing. they kind of got a mind of their own. Alright, it's going to get the Humvee away. Yes, it's a scoreboard. Oh, he's going to get scrapped. Yeah, scrapped up. Vet 2 tech already. That's not good. He is going to deny that though. So that's nice. Maybe eventually when the path's clear, or the coast is clear, get one out there. Put it there. Just expand it. Or even set one there. And that there is a field technical. And I think, yeah, he's going to get that there. That's painful. Will he get the first doser? Will he realise he's there? Or has he got four terrorists? Four terrorists, yep. One, two, three, four. Second supply down. He hasn't got anything else in there. But can you laser lock it in time? No. He is at least going to deny that. So that's good. Good to know. Got our V going down on the right. Looking for a harassment that it won't be able to get. And actually, could end up giving a super tech away, you know. If Zezon's concentrating, he's going to give a super tech away. Is it filled, though? Oh, it is filled. Okay. In fact... Oh, he's going to deny it. All right. No, he isn't. Oh, that's unlucky. Now, that's something... Oh, my God. That's painful. Bang. Dead. Yeah. There it goes down. Now he can get a super tech. Willy. Willy. Be nice to see. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Deals with that on the side. That was good concentration there. Lost one, though. Will he get the super tech? Still hasn't got it. Has rebuilt his second supply. Still hasn't got it. See, technicals there. Still hasn't got it. <laughs> got supplies here. Could get a tunnel down here. Could even get another supply there. I'd actually probably get a second arm steel. There. Still hasn't got it. <laughs> get this. Oh my god, the super tech. He hasn't even managed to get that in. And that's just because these technicals are really good. Is he now going to get the super tech? Or is he just being merciful here? He did, didn't get that. He is being merciful. All right, fair enough. Zezon doesn't want the super tech. He's quite happy without super tech. All right. Oh, that's painful though. One. That's a lot. He's so far microed it fairly well though, since CHD. Okay. Still got the map control there. We see just a standard sort of original traditional quad build against the USA though from Zezon. We don't see that very often these days. Nowadays, it's just a bit of a tech spam. But I think in the old days, you used to see a lot of just mass quad spams and trying to out macro your opponent really it's a bit less like that these days you see the USA is much more on it in the modern game 
when it comes to denying map control. Whereas I think in the past you saw that a bit less. People didn't do it quite as often. And this is a big push actually. Mind you, it could be ill-timed. I'd like to see some tow coming in. It's an MTV. These two have got stuff in though. That's good to see. Zezon should have spotted that. It looks like he's just going to trade at this stage. And he can probably afford to. I mean, he doesn't need to trade. Laser lock's coming now. That'd be good to see. Now, if you run away. Alright, laser lock. One. Two. Can you get the technicals? Can you get the technicals? I'll tell you what. Oh, there's a super tech. Right. Now he's in danger. That's definitely going down. Oh, no, it's not. Or is it? Ah, uh, that's painful. There's the dozer hunt. And in the meantime, he's defending with some quads at his base. Yeah, there's the dozer hunt. Hunt's in. That's what you've got to do. He isn't even concentrating on that. He's just going to deal with it. These super tech... Ah, oh, that's a really horrible super tech. All right. Okay, quad dealt with there. But what's he going to do with that? You have to evac and laser lock. It's your only hope. He's actually collecting from free there. Again, I'd like to see maybe one of those Shinnoks just go off here, maybe. That's nice, okay. But he lost one of his filled... He's lost the ammo and he lost one of his filled Vs, so... I think we're starting to see the beginning of the end, because... When that goes down, you can't rebuild it. No ability to build missile defenders anymore. And no ability to even deny that. That actually had some units in it, probably some rangers. That's gone down now. And he's going to get a second super tech here. Yeah, he has. I think he has, you know. I think that's a second super tech. All he can do is concentrate on this 1v. Because his base is going down. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Even if these two Vs do some work, there's no way he can deny, deny all of this in time. It's GG. And those are two super powerful super techs. And i tell you what he could have done. Do you know what? There was something he could have done there. Take your two Vs get him in a nook you would have actually defended but it doesn't matter it's there's too many quads to micro around and he's even no, he's doing the right thing here he's even building up some extra tunnels and unless you get through right now yeah it's gg he's even got a surround on him now two tube sticks absolutely wrecking his face gg's well played okay that is our final match ladies and gentlemen since his hd's gone offline Okay, let's update our scoreboard to reflect the fact that we did see a winner. Alright. Well played by Zezon. Let's see if he'll come out in a second. Uh, Zezon, where art thou? I'm sure I've got him added. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have him added. I don't have everyone added. Got about 10 Logica accounts added. <laughs> but uh, not everyone. See if Zezon's around. Say GG's to him. But uh, yeah. Um, that concludes our games. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, actually, I really enjoyed that. That was good fun. And it was nice to see that. It would be nice to see someone go 6 all in one of these challenges at one point. That I might even have to suggest... A, well, I'm not going to suggest... A, I'm not going to try and influence that with extra money because it doesn't. It kind of defeats the point. People would just play for it then. You don't want to see that. Uh, okay, there he is. GG's well played. GL in 2v2s. Okay. Right, I think I will end the stream there. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, what I'm going to try and actually do now is be a little bit professional, although I'm probably going to mess it up quite badly. Uh, let's get up that stupid 80s music that I know is copyright free. Uh, yeah. Uh, does it want to play? Yeah, there we go. Right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. GG's. Well played.